Now, Twitter employees are suing the company in a class action lawsuit over mass layoffs expected to be carried out on Friday. The company recently acquired by the world's richest man, Elon Musk, told employees they would be notified about terminations via email. Twitter offices are closed for the day and badge access removed. While there's been no official announcement specifying the number of layoffs, US media reports say half of Twitter's 7,500 workforce could be let go. And for more on this, I am joined in the studio now by Andrea Nepori from the Business Department. Uh, Andrea, it's good to have you in the studio. Perhaps let's begin uh, with why does Elon Musk want to get rid of so many Twitter employees? Well, the reason is that he needs to reduce costs and save money, and he needs to do that quite quickly. So we all know uh, how much he paid for Twitter, $44 billion. Right. $13 billion of that amount was lent to him by banks. And of course, he needed to have a plan to convince them to give them. He might be the richest man on earth, but he still needs to have a plan uh, for them to give that amount of money. And among those plans is restructuring and bringing Twitter quickly right. to more profitability. One thing that's really important to remember, Twitter is a big name. We all know Twitter, but it's a small company compared to other tech giants. The last quarterly revenue was only 1.2 billion. You can see the sheer difference between yeah. what Musk's paid and what he's gonna get with this new toy, we could say. Uh, so what he needs to do is to save money quickly, mm -hmm. that's layoffs, and then he will have to find ways, of course, to make more money. Though. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second, because while we're talking yeah. about the layoffs, um, we know that a number of employees are now uh, planning mm -hmm. on, on, on taking class action. Uh, yeah. They filed a lawsuit. What, what more do we know about that? So it's still basically breaking news from yesterday night, but also today, it's still rolling out what's going on. We still haven't seen severance packages. We don't know how an actual layoff at Twitter looks like. Right. What they've done, in my opinion, is basically a preemptive strike. There's been a lot of talk of layoffs for a while. So what they did, they sort of preemptive strike against whatever's gonna come. What they're gonna do is um, they wanna claim that uh, Twitter and Musk didn't respect the, the federal and um, California law, that they would have needed to give them 60 days of notice for this operation. They haven't done it. We'll also see what's gonna happen globally because this is a global layoff. So this is about America. We're gonna see what happens in the UK, in Germany, in India, in so many other countries where Twitter has employees. Yeah, um, I guess another one, Andrea, we're talking about the, yeah. the finances, right, uh, of all of this. Um, there is a, a new proposal, right, to start charging uh, yeah. fees. He, he's trying to make money uh, from the platform. Just tell me about how his ideas w will change the platform. Well, the platform will change pretty a, a lot, we could say, if he goes through with what he has in mind. The shift he wants to achieve is going from uh, depending a lot from advertising, which is right now maybe 90% of Twitter's revenue, and uh, moving all of that more to a subscription-based service. So he will have to convince people to pay for something like the Twitter Blue Plan that already exist, but is really not so popular. It wants to charge $8 for that. That might include a lot of, of perks, uh, less ads, and especially what you might be referring to, of course, the blue tick. It's, it was news before the layoffs this week, right? Um, the blue tick used to, until now, uh, for verification. So the user with the blue tick were verified users. He wants to sort of change that into a subscription badge. But all of these, as you can see, creates a lot of confusion and a lot of chaos. It's still unclear how the direction of this might be. There's been Erdogan commenting on that. It's, it's been really chaotic. What we always need to remember is that this is Elon Musk. And he lands rockets vertically, it can do a lot of things. This might be a little bit more complicated than rocket science, even though. Well, uh, nicely put there. Uh, <laughs> thank you, uh, Andrea Napori from DW Business. Appreciate that.